Introducing Brushstroke the Painter. Runway the Fashion Designer. 3D the Sculptor. Zoom the Photographer. And last but not least, Graphite, the leader and illustrator of the team. They are the Art Force 5! Yes sir, the Art Force 5. Strong, willing, capable. When we last left our heroes, they had successfully won the Unite Rochester Challenge, granting them the opportunity to return to their hometown of the rightly remarkable Rochester, New York where they could continue to fight the good fight. So, my name is Malia Alawad. I graduated from Rochester City School, School of the Arts. My name is Sade Moten. I graduated from Greece Athena. My name is Joyce Parker. I graduated from Soda School of the Arts. My name is DeAndre Vaden, Wilson Magnet High School. My name is Hakira Parker. I graduated from Joseph C. Wilson Magnet High School. We were winners of a grant challenge called the Unite Rochester Challenge, and this was an initiative for a group of individuals to come together and do some form of community initiatives within the city of Rochester. And we were fortunate enough to win that grant. We originally wanted to start out with nine different traveling mosaics. We tried to engage people in on the different topics that they are, and we start off by telling them who we are, and then we get them to, to try and understand why we're, why we're doing what we're doing, and then we explain to them that all they have to do is pick out a piece of the pattern, which is a picture of the whole it's a piece of the whole picture, is what I'm trying to say. And then they will simply just paint that um, as close as they can on a different tile. And then when they're done with that, they will place that upon the bigger picture as if they're contributing to a whole picture along with the community. We wanted to be able to move throughout the city and be able to talk to the city residents about different issues that are happening in Rochester, affecting them daily. The mosaics would be installed onto the Go Odd Go Cock, the Art Force 5 equivalent of the Batmobile. Powered by creativity, the cog would be driven into different communities within the city. When they went in the streets, they would take on the disguises of mild-mannered college students, working as interns at several businesses and services throughout Rochester. We now return to the Art Force 5, as our heroes begin to begrudgingly bring their summer to a close. So, what's happened since we last saw them? A lot. A lot has happened. We've come across a lot of experiences. Um, many of them are having people around the community share their personal stories with us. This one lady, I remember we were in front of the Democrat and Chronicles downtown, and she kept, she was telling us um, about her baby, her baby's name, when the baby is due, and you know, just like a whole bunch of stuff that if it was a different setting, no one would really, really care to listen to. But she took you know, us being over there, opening up a conversation to tell us about things that she feel happy about. And I, that really, I thought that was really interesting because we, we as the Art Force 5 give people the opportunity to share things with, uh, with us that they won't be, that they wouldn't be able to share with other people. And having us connect in ways that we share some similarities with them as well. Just being able to give people that, um, that freedom to talk to us about anything is very impactful, I think. Um, and then also um, shedding light on things that we may not have known about the community. Like myself, I'm not, I don't really, I'm from the city, but I, I don't really know too much about the city. And being around the summer is kind of like opening my eyes to what, what goes on and like the beauty that is within the city and that how the community can come together with just us discussing it with them and letting them be the voices and us being the listeners and kind of like guiding them in the way that they might want to go. I've learned so much about the city that I didn't know was going on or that I didn't know even happened in Rochester until this summer. That makes me think, wow, you know, Rochester is a lot better than I originally thought because... If I were, you know, just like a regular citizen of uh, Rochester, you know, if I didn't know any better, I think that resources aren't, there's not a lot of resources. But as a member of the Art Force 5 and our connections that have been made over the past couple months, I, I see that, you know, there's a lot of stuff being done, that they're actually trying, their efforts being made. People are attempting to make changes, whether they're little or big. There's this event called TIPS. Project TIPS, we've worked with a lot of 
city organizations. The Department of Recreation and Youth Services. They work on the move junior employees. And they had things planned such as grill a picnic, have some resources come to them, have their children play with horses and play kickball games. And we had a we had a big kickball game in the middle of the of the park with a lot of the local police officers as well. A lot of opportunities that could really benefit the community are present in one spot, which I love because it is a fun setting, it is a very opening, heartwarming setting. Being able to see the police officers and, and the different services of the city and the kids all working together and just, just having fun, like it's just a simple game of kickball. Uh, was the summer a success? I would say the summer has been a success in ways that we've all come together and realize things within the city of Rochester. Although you don't see, you know, a grand change within the community, you can every day you saw little little accomplishments that let you know that you are making an impact in somebody's life and you are making a change. And it is those little accomplishments that let you know that the work you are doing is work to be done. It'll take a while for our initial goal to be reached, but we are making small steps towards that goal. But I do feel like it was a success because it takes one individual to speak up on a negative thing and then Hopefully in the future, we will be more successful in other communities as we continue to grow and learn how to be better members. Kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of LA.